<coughs> Alright. <coughs> Welcome back, and we are playing the division again. Hey, what do you think you're looking for? <coughs> I tried a few recordings last night, and uh, I was using OBS, which I'm not a huge fan of. Um, so, I've switched programs, it works a lot better. Uh, the recording is 10 times better. And I'm using XSplit uh, Broadcaster. <coughs> so, I used this in the past, I was, um, I used to stream my dog, and then they, they banned my Twitch channel because I wasn't streaming video games. And uh, so here I am streaming video games now. So just kind of look at my build for this game. As of right now, it is uh, 1.5, so I am rocking an alpha bridge. So the if you're not familiar with uh, the division or building characters for the division, uh, once you hit level 30, you then obtain a gear score, which is up here, 256 is the highest right now. And in version 1.5, Alpha Bridge, in my opinion, is one of the best sets that you can get. So that you have a skill set, or a set bonus, when you have accumulated a specific amount of, uh, of the armor. So, um, for the first set bonus, health regen 100%, set bonus 3, 5% weapon damage. And then if your primary and secondary weapons of the same category, they both gain all of the unique active talents. So, um, I have that, this, I don't, I think I only set up because I had the best armor and I do like the resists there, so that's nice. But, the, my main weapon, so is a LBOA C, and um, I have on there Unforgiving. So, Unforgiving. Brutal and talented. Predatory, vicious, and deadly. Which not bad. Um, pretty decent as far as the weapons go. And uh, uh, this is kind of the linchpin of my build, is the nimble. So heal 2% of max health. That's 2% of max health. So my max health um, for every one meter run cover to cover during combat. So I've kind of fixed my build around that by, um, sorry, wrong screen, here we go. So, um, complete a covered cover removal, increase the damage 2% per meter covered for 5 seconds. So that includes, so now for every meter I'm getting 2% weapon damage and I'm also getting 2% healed. Um, so here during a cover cover remove, reduce damage by 30%, why not, especially when we're running far from cover to cover all the time. Then enter a cover and reduce recoil by 25% for 10 seconds. Self-explanatory. And then headshots. So you can bring a few different types of skills, um, depending on your weapon set. I pref you can, to be honest, this one's really good, uh, because you are, you're giving yourself an additional... 20% almost of stability, weapon accuracy, damage resist, and you're in cover, so you're always constantly using cover. Healing is a no-brainer, you can use pulse, you can use um, mobile cover, all that type of stuff. So, it's really how you want to design your character. Um, I don't typically like doing challenging, mm -hmm. I will, just to kind of show you what's going on. People are just not very good at this map type, or this game type, and I don't have a lot of people that I know that play this game, so Check it out. I end up having to play this strangers, if you will. But as you can see, I've also completed everything on the map, except for all of Your phone recordings and whatnot. A new agent is joining your team. Here we go. <coughs> I hate when fuckheads have open mics. 
like on games. Like I know that my mic is now open right now, but it's a courtesy to other people. I will have a push and type mic because there are times that I'm sure I'm not be there or I'm eating whatever the case is. So as soon as I can, I'm going to keep that motherfucker. Active echo beacon detected. Agent, it's Dr. Candle. I want to stress to you the vital importance of safeguarding any civilians you may come across. The map says some of those people must have survived the dollar flu. That means they've got antibodies to it that I need to have an open hell of fighting this thing. Having a broader genetic diversity of virus samples will help us track the virus's mutation, which is a long way to say, keep those people alive until I get what I need from them. Got that? Great. Warning. Now leaving the safe area. Agent, you need to hear this. Faye tells me the cleaners are holding the entire tent city prisoner. That's what it looks like, and it fits the cleaner MO. If you wanted to eradicate every last vestige of detectable virus, where would you go? Wherever the biggest concentrations are. Refugee camps, shanty towns. Jesus, you don't think they... Draconian solution. Highly effective. Every day, Doctor. Every day. Good luck, Agent. virus samples, and I really need viable antibody samples from survivors. So, keep them extra alive, I guess. You know what I'm saying. I'm going back to work now. Candle out. Agent has joined your team. Sexy shit. Confirmed. It's Napalm B, all right. 
With that much capacity, they must be planning to burn out the whole damn yard. And when they do, they're gonna kill every last refugee in that shanty town. We need that tank moved somewhere safe. Agent, as soon as you lock the situation down, I've got a joint Sarah JTF strike force ready to move in. They'll take samples from as many refugees as they can find. Medical personnel? A couple of EMTs in the mix, Doctor. Yes. A couple? As in only two? The rest are first aid certified. They know how to tap a vein. Get going, Agent. Without contaminating the samples, I assume. Or infecting themselves, yes. I'll take your word for it. Thank you, Doctor. Get moving, Agent.
Agent, if you can find the crane controls, drop that tank someplace safe. <clears throat> Normally I don't watch this, but I will show you since... Sample team, listen up. Like I was saying, I'm gonna need those blood samples labeled and organized so we can track corroborating factors. Let's move this discussion to a different channel so we don't bore the agent. Alright, so that is my build on challenging. Hope you enjoyed it. If you have questions, let's down below.